Oh, Carrie has like, I'll show you how it's done. Uh -huh. That's uh, that's definitely an option. <laughs> and look, we can't even question it. This is the this is the thing that's frustrating. It is, yeah, okay. It is very. I was about to say it is Vera support, right? We're not we're not seeing Ezreal support here. What would be wrong with Ezreal support? Ezreal support sounds great. Get that blood song working, you know. <laughs> At this point, I wouldn't even question it. Yeah. And um. I think Grimuji is also a fantastic as well. Oh. oh, no, we're doing it. Oh, okay. oh. No, I, no, 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 no. Really? Because, so, so again, what I want to reiterate, in fear, if you go Lethality Varus and a poke support... For game number one. <laughs> All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, onto the rift for game number one. Fearx versus T1. We had a bit of an argument in the lobby uh, getting into this game. Of course, it was blind pick, and we had both Gumushi and Carrier saying AD, and they were spamming it, and Guma thought that he said it first, so he just locked, and then Carrier that's, thought that's, that he said it first, and so he locked, yeah. and... Uh, that's why they both on Doran's Blade. Yeah, that's why they It's actually, there's a competition going now. Whoever gets It's a most, game of chicken. Yeah, it's whoever a game gets of chicken, most yeah. CS gets to yeah. actually yeah. farm. That's the other person has to buy... World Atlas. I mean, it's just a bit of a, it's an archaic strategy uh, that has really lasted all the way until uh, 2024 here in LCK. Um, yeah, blind pick, kind of a dead thing now, even in the clients. Just a, uh, it's weird that we're still doing it here, but whatever, Wait, it's fine. I wonder at what point we're going to go fully into the, because because basically what's happening now is people are going, As, but they it's can't good. even like, I don't even know if they die to a gank here. Well, uh, Gumyushi, he might be in a little bit of trouble, does have to heal. There's the flash forward from Henna as Carrier is trying to get aggressive. Doesn't have the Ignite, but just needs another auto attack. The flash forward from Execute does absolutely nothing. And now Carrier is trying to pop off. He just needs one more, but he's not going to get there. It's a double for Willer in the end. And that definitely is a decent start for Firex. Oh, Lady Fizz is really good, but even though Karma's win rate is abysmal, we have seen exactly why she's Oh, yeah. Uh, because her laning is rather silly. And if Closer can maintain that level of pressure, it might make it hard for T1 to actually utilize the power of this Orianna Rel. At the same time, though, normally I would say that T1 are always happy to go into a team fighting situation because I think Rel Ori is such a strong core, especially with an on hit Varus as well. But the Ezreal does throw me off a little bit because the value of that, I think, is very reliant on you being able to actually get a lead, right, in, in either terms of Dragons, which obviously not going to be the case. They did trade for Grubs, though. Oh, Closer continuing to put Faker on Alicia in this lane. Finds himself the Mantrid Q, and Faker might actually be looking for a reset here. See whether he can continue to play as well as he has as Zayas with the World Ender here. Uh, Clear has already gone all out. Does he actually have the damage to kill him? Oh, that was a beautiful interruption. But Clear is still fighting, gets the ward down, and Zayas oh! will be solo killed by the young upstart. And that is huge, because Clear has, has been struggling he so has? much in the laning phase. All right, and there is a kickback onto Gumiushi as well. Okay, never you mind. Fear X, they are here to play today. And that is now a killing spree for Will. Up for it, uh, as far as the poke is concerned, later on. Uh, but this isn't. This is a game that is now. It's it's about T1 getting themselves in a better position where they can actually fight for a late game. But Willa is has decided that he does not want late game to happen. It's almost up. Yep, he is. Uh, he's just done with that. As we have the pullback already with that world ender, and Willa's in melee range. He can kick whenever he likes. Ona will turn up though. Gets the kick through. That was so sick from Willa. But now the distance is being created. He avoids the Q. Close and T1 is still here. They're going to need closer to turn up, and there he is. Another kill for Willa and a flash out from Ona. And Fear X a couple of days up, and the team looks unrecognizable. Clear on the Cassante, together with Willer. Look for the gank. Zayas is able to outplay it initially. Owner shows up. And it looks like things might backfire, but then closer. Great timing. We'll have to pay for this with a play towards the mid lane, but with this pick not being that successful when it comes to winning, we have seen how obnoxious it can be in lane. And a lot of the losses were also into Senna, who I think does a really good job, especially when paired with a Nautilus, yeah. mitigate the poke that comes out in these mid-game fights. That's going to be two Drakes now in a Hextech oh, possibility. Man. 
for Firex. And I think that we do see T1 still. Uh, this is by no means a, a, a lead that is impossible to come back from, right? We do have the plates still going overwhelmingly in their favor, particularly towards the bot side of the map, so towards top. We do have the gold still being pretty even. It is a it is a nice lead, but not oh. enough by itself as they go in. X Gates coming on over here. His owner will get cute. Faker moves over. And Kumiyushi, he's caught by himself. The flash comes through. His execute is delivered towards the Varus, and he is just dead. Beautiful target selection here from Firex. And right spots in order to open uh, the, the chance to pick off the but Varus. Yeah, this is the problem, right? In the uh, Even though they are going to be able to probably pick up this Herald here, they're going to lose first turret block, which means gold lead that they have. It really isn't that big. And I think that the composition of Fear X actually does really well until we get to the real later stages of the game. Yep. Uh, but but mid-game teamfights with this composition still are going to be a nightmare. And... Oh, knock-up. Has to flash out of there. Yeah. Good flash respect, because I think he was definitely dead unless he did that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Exactly what's going on. Another cancel should be able to come through here as Execute. Yep. Gets the handshake, and Carrier might even be in trouble. Has to flash to get himself out, and the Ignite still ticking. And that is, again, more punishment. Again, their composition, I think, falls off later down the line, but no signs of that right now, especially with how big Willer is. Yeah, and I don't think it falls off if they get a Hextech Soul either. No, I think, like, no, nothing, they'll be good. Nothing will fall off at that point in time. Um, and they're going to look for Soul Point. That should be a bit of a guarantee here. Excuse I mean, me, if, assault. Yeah, if Ona can get into the pit, and there is a high chance that he can steal things away, as now Zayas looking for a flank GP. angle. Okay, dangerous times. Teleport coming in from clear as well. There's the Magnus Storm. Chains of Corruption going wide, but Zayas, he is in the Dragon Pit. Now he's out. Gets pushed away, and there is the soul. Soul point for Willa. Still, Zayas able to get a kill or two here, but now he has to deal with four people moving towards him. And Fear X, they'll run over the fight, only losing Execute and securing the Drake. See whether there is going to be an answer, because it's Horizon Focus and the Malignants now completed uh, for Closer. And Showmaker demonstrated to us yesterday that you can do a team's worth of damage with only a couple of items like that. And we'll see whether Closer can do the same thing. It's had a bit of a quiet game, but is otherwise looking fine. As all Execute. Right. Execute going to drive this one into the turret. He is committed. And now he is going to be face called. Um, thankfully, he can do that. But that is a big cooldown now uh, un unavailable. I can't believe he would say he would commit. And then he just goes C1. That is good news. Going on a fight. Trisha Barrage is going to connect there as Willa now getting dissonance. Ignite is down as, ve as well. They're really trying to get rid of this uh, Lee Sin from the fight so that he can't get into that back line and make things happen. Q's coming in, but a lot of this poke on the side of Fear X isn't landing until now where the handshake comes back in. But that is an Aatrox. I don't know whether you want that one as the Magnusaur flies forward and it's Kumiyushi that blows them up and now Zayas will just jump all over them. And that's a clean ace. Clean ace. Baron's gonna be gone. Dragon no longer on the table and that's why we were holding our breath atlas and i think firex should have held their breath because the willingness there was great the execution unfortunately was not yeah i don't know how much i enjoy the idea of we really see the difference between these two teams as good as firex their early game was they couldn't hold the bluff, right? You need to just, I think, you just go towards Baron and start it up. And often we criticize teams that do that. But in this scenario, I actually think it's valid. It is also hard for T1 to reliably engage onto you. You need to force them to do something. And Fear X wanting to be the team to pull the trigger. If XQ was playing Nautilus, that might have been a game-winning play. But instead, it, yeah. it, it probably is the end of the game, right? Like, from this point onward, now T1 is going to siege. They're probably going to get at least an inhibitor. That's what I meant, yeah. Uh, but I do I do also think that now uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not looking too hot for Fear X. Fake is going to shock wave the wave. Shock wave. Shock wave. It was a shock wave. There we go, something like that. As this turret is going to be taken down, so there's a little bit back here for Fear X. But, um... And not doing too much about this, uh, which could just mean a gap in the base. You can see Clear, he's electing to go back home. Baker could actually throw an orb in there if he would like to. Allowed to flip for the objective into Rel, which is very hard. Can yeah. kick her away, so, so maybe. And they are going to go for a heroic last stand. 
we'll see what they're able to actually get out of this. Grabbing the wave here on bot. The very least, going to get themselves a turret. Closer does have TP. Oh dear, there is not a lot of vision down here. As Carrier just throwing Qs left, right, and center. Chains of Corruption onto Willa! And there is the Infernal Chains. It will be broken by Willa, though, as the Magnus Storm comes in with the immediate kick. I just don't know whether there was the right choice. Karma. Fade's call now coming in. Wait. Carrier off to the side. They're taking so much damage as Zayus gets into melee range. And you know, you know that's bad news. There goes clear. And now it's Whitewash once again. T1 just tear them to shreds. And that's gonna be the end of game number one. The deep teleport from Closer on Karma. Unfortunately, not gonna be enough to turn the fight. Guma finds an ultimate on top of the Lee Sin. And now, T1 gonna get themselves up 1-0. Carrier played Ezreal. That did happen. He did, and he, and he has a win on Ezreal as well. And that's what matters. He's collecting all of the 80 carries. Needs to try and get a win on all of them in the support role as well. Let's try and get in there and just distract them. But it looks like the next starts are on the minds of T1. Execute will be executed. And Willa, he's not going to find a way this time. Uh, Henna trying to defend. But this Nexus is going to go down. And T1, it looked a little bit uh, dicey in the early game. But if you set up for the team fights right, it is going to work out your way really beautifully. Picked up in the mid game and then.